Oh, <laughs> right, yeah. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and you can see my special guest is here again. If you've seen my other videos, you'll know who this is. If you haven't seen my other videos, then you'll have to keep on watching to find out who my special guest is today. And please don't forget to hit that subscribe button below and the notification bell as well if you want to know when I release videos. So, Paul, can you please Hi. introduce yourself? I know this is the third time, but in case anyone hasn't seen our videos before, who are you? Yeah, my name's Paul Jackson. Um, I'm, my main jobs at the moment are IB workshop leader and uh, IB examiner. Um, I retired from teaching about a year ago, having been head of maths for forever, and uh, now I'm enjoying semi-retirement. And I'm sure many of you have actually seen Paul or met Paul because he runs a lot of the IB mathematics workshops for the new curriculum. So you may have been a participant in his workshops in the past. Now, Paul has a lot of experience. We won't say how many decades, but, <laughs> but he's got a lot of experience. And I know that he's got some insights to share with us. So Paul, please share an insight with us about mathematics yeah. teaching and learning. Yeah, well, the idea this week, it's one that I know you've used a lot as well, which is make the lessons practical, get the kids up doing things. And what I wanted to talk about really is doing that with statistics because that, that lends itself to practical work. And I think in simple things, like when you introduce averages, a lot of kids say the mean is the average, but you can show that there are better averages sometimes by just simply get the average height of a class. What are you going to do? W measure them all or put them in line, smallest to tallest, and take the middle one. And height's roughly normally distributed, so the mean and median are going to be about the same, but the median is so much easier. Mm -hmm. And kids practically see that by having them in line, doing all sorts of things and getting the median. Um, and then it prompts good discussion of when is the mean and median going to be different? And obviously that's when you've got skewed data, but that such situations you can talk about and you can bring that in. The other thing I wanted to say with practical uh, statistics is I used to be lucky. My last school, German Swiss in Hong Kong, we had a supermarket just over the road. So whenever I did the normal distribution, I'd always lead the class over to the supermarket and get them to take a chocolate bar. I raided Jenny's fridge and she didn't have a chocolate bar, but she's got some chocolate biscuits. And it says on the packet 100 grams. Now that doesn't mean you get 100 grams. Go into a, into a supermarket and get the kids to weigh a sample of chocolate biscuits. And you'll see that all of them are going to be over 100 grams. That's 100 grams isn't the average, or they'd be selling 50% of them underweight. They can't do that. So 100 grams is down towards the lower end of the distribution. So there's two questions there. What's the mean? And more importantly, what's the standard deviation? which you can estimate from a sample. Because it's easy to control the mean. You put more chocolate on the biscuits or you put less to move the mean. But how do you change the standard deviation? And that's to do with quality control in a factory, getting a consistent product. So it's, it's really interesting and a good way to introduce actually adjusting the mean, which you have to mean and standard deviation, which you do with the normal distribution. And what I always do at the end of it, they've all picked out, I wouldn't do it with these because these are a bit expensive, but <laughs> pick out, um, they've all picked out a Mars bar and I was usually generous because they're nice kids and uh, I'd let them have one. They, we, we, I'd buy them all one at the end. And so they'd always remember their normal distribution lesson because of that practical maths. That is a 
Brilliant idea, mm. Paul. So that is so much better than the lesson that I normally give on normal distribution. So if you don't mind, I'm really going to borrow that idea. Mm. Um, so in, what I used to do was get um, ask different groups to collect maybe 10, 20, 10 cent piece uh, coins, Hong Kong coins. So every group would have 10 or 20 and we might end up with more than 100 or 200. And I'd ask each student to weigh each of these 10 cent coins, just borrowing some scales from the physics department yeah. normally but how boring is that yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's right I mean they, they love it when they go and uh, weigh a chocolate bar or something and uh, but this the point is there it's such a shame that mobile phones are, are heat sensitive they're not weight sensitive so you can't get a weighing app on yeah, your phone what a um, you, so idea. you've just got to yeah it is such a shame you've <laughs> yeah. got to borrow something from the science department to go and weigh the weigh the, the chocolate bars but yes. it, it's worth it because they remember it and always at the end because i'm a big old softy really <laughs> and always at the end i buy a mars bar for the kids one each and they they go off and i have one as well isn't that and, lovely uh, we finish off they always remember the lesson because of that what a so, brilliant yeah. lesson. Thank you, Paul. Yeah. I hope that you got some takeaways from Paul's lesson on normal Mars distribution. That's yeah. right. <laughs> <laughs> and also about the ideas and the distinction between mean, medium and mode and when to use which and mm. which is best sometimes yeah. and which is not best. Yeah. Um, so if you have any ideas or any comments about any statistical lessons, please put a comment in the section below. That's right. And... Paul, I hope that you'll be back next time to share some more insights with you. Do you would you have time? Hopefully, if you yeah. if you'll have me. Yes. Oh, definitely. Yeah, depends on the feedback. <laughs> <laughs> Fingers crossed. Yes. <laughs> so thank you again, Paul, and thank you for watching. And I really hope to see you next time. Bye. Bye bye.